Hey guys, MB Prepper here. It's cold night here in upstate South Carolina, getting down to about 20 degrees tonight, which is ridiculously cold here for South Carolina. Coldest night of the year. Got to thinking, need to do a review on cold weather gear, just some of the basics, some of the things to have around. Of course, I've got my videos on heat and fire and all that, but uh, what's one of the things you can have, regardless of where you're at, one of the things you definitely need is a good coat gotta have yourself something good and warm. Um, I don't care where you're at. I don't care if you're in Florida. I don't care if you're in Southern California or in the frozen north up in Yankee land. Uh, one of the things that would be beneficial for everybody to own is a wool coat. Wool. Fantastic insulator. Wonderfully warm. Even if wet. If soaking wet, wool will tend to retain about 80% of its warmth, which is tremendous. So, you talk about all your mylar blankets and bags and all that. Those are good. Those are wonderful. But I don't know if I want to be walking through the snow with a Mylar blanket wrapped around me hoping that's going to cover me well enough. During the winter months, I keep a wool coat in my car all the time. A lot of options. Uh, the one I've got here displayed is a pea coat, which I think is probably the stylish, most stylish rather, wool coat out there. Uh, British origin, used by British sailors and Navy seamen from a lot of countries across the world. Works real well. Really well, very stylish, very classy. This is my primary winter coat that I wear. Uh, I don't particularly tend to like coats very often, most of the time, I like it cold. But uh, weather like this, hey, you gotta have a coat in the car, even if wear it or not, it needs to be available. Now, these things are kinda pricey. They'll run anywhere between 50 bucks on sale to 100, 200 bucks, etc. You say, well, I don't have that kind of cash. Well, okay, maybe you don't. But again, I look at things and cost per hour. If you wear this thing when the power's out, which I have done to stay warm uh, while I was doing other options to heat the place up, it works well. You know, you wear this thing a few hours a day if you're outside, something like that, or maybe a few hours a week, every week over the years, uh, over the seasons. This thing, the price is going to drop to virtually nothing. So this is like a one-time purchase type coat. You're never going to buy more than one of these unless you're buying one as a gift. Now you can buy 100% wool, which is classy and all, but uh, from family experience, 100%, if you leave it laying around somewhere, it's going to warp. It's going to deform. As long as you don't hang it up, it's going to lose some of its shape. So, honestly, a slightly cheaper option and a better general purpose option is to get a blend. Uh, this one is about 80% wool, 20% synthetics. Um, just as warm as the wool ones I've worn in the past. Works well. I bought this during the summertime uh, as a, well, late spring, I suppose, as a cool jacket. I saw it and I, I said, well, that's a good coat. This is going to do the job. So, uh, bought it for about $50, I think, which is not unreasonable for a piece of apparel. Very classy, very stylish. You can wear this all over the place. Uh, fits real well. Still probably need to have the sleeves taken up a little bit, but uh, overall very classy. Get a lot of compliments on it across the board. Now, you say, oh, I don't have the money for that. I don't have 50 bucks. I don't have 100 bucks for a pea coat, as cool as it may be. And again, make sure you check the material. They make these in cotton and other lesser materials as well. More for style and lighter weight use. You want a true pea coat, you want wool. Uh, they make blue and dark blue. I'd go, uh, dark blue rather, and black. I'd go for black. I just, black goes with everything. It's slimming, as they say. So, if you don't have the money for that, what do you do? Well, surplus buys, baby. Um, this is my first wool coat. The first one I got many years ago. Got this from Cheaper Than Dirt as a surplus buy for, oh, I don't know, 10 to $15. Very good looking military style coat. Uh, from what it said on the description, it was an Italian wool coat. 100% wool. This one is, so I keep it hung up all the time other than when I'm showing it to you guys. Um, very good looking. Never issued. Ran me about 15 bucks. Now, would I wear this around the streets? Probably not, general purpose. Uh, a little too militaristic looking, but uh, it does do the job. Uh, wore this out in Texas in a very cold night when I realized that my uh, gas heater was not pumping out any heat, and it was getting bad cold with the winds off the ocean, all that, or the Gulf, rather. Um, I put this bad boy on and went to work outside in the house trying to get my uh, furnace up and running, which I eventually did, but uh, if I didn't, I could have worn this all night, covered up in bed, been just fine. No problems at all. And it's got 
brass buttons and all that. Uh, this thing fits great. It's probably the best fitting coat I've ever had. Longer length, going to go down to about your knees and all that, which is even better. Um, again, not my first choice, but uh, for the price, this bad boy was tough to beat. 15 bucks. Check out the Surplus World, guys. Uh, you might find something. Go to your uh, Surplus stores, your Miracle Hill, your Goodwill, all that, whatever you have to have locally. You're probably going to find an old wool coat, military style or otherwise. Pick it up. Even if it's a little ratty looking, it's going to do the job. Uh, again, 15 bucks. I bought this on a whim with an order back when I really didn't think I needed it. I just thought it was cool looking. Got it, and uh, it's great. I actually wore it outside in the backyard tonight just to feed the chickens. Um, and don't worry about getting this one too messy. Now, of course, along with that, I had to get the uh, East German style mountain cap just because, well, you know, it completes the look. Got the ear flaps that come down, all that. Not the warmest in the world, but uh, just cool. I just think this, if you're going to look military, take it all the way. Uh, let the neighbors looking at you in the backyard think you're weird. Uh, that's fine. Uh, wool coats, an absolute must have for any kind of basic prepping type gear, don't forget about it. Don't just have the blankets. Yes, the blankets can be wrapped around you and all that, but for general functionality, if you got to get out in the woods and chop wood and all that type stuff, you want a good heavy wool coat. Forget the uh, parkers and all that. Those big heavy synthetic fluff between them all, it could be a problem. You, you tear that, you scratch it, something like that, your fluff's going to come out, and then you're going to have a problem uh, keeping warm in that area. You're going to have cold leaching in. This thing, heavy duty. You're not going to, if you scratch this, uh, you're, you're not going to tear through this. And if you tear through it, man, you took one serious fall. Again, military wool coat, it's great, it's fine. It does it For cheap, I couldn't beat it. Uh, it's even better in heavy duty use than my little pea coat. Get yourself a pea coat, guys. Definitely worth it. Andy Prepper out.